And the director of Al Jazeera's investigative unit, Clayton Swisher, is with us now in the studio. That, that cable came uh, a month after Netanyahu had made that announcement at the, at the United Nations. Nonetheless, he must have had some inkling of, of, of what Mossad were thinking. What does that say about his credibility? Well, it puts it in question. It's a very contentious visit that uh, he's scheduled to have in coming weeks in Washington, D.C., before the U.S. Congress. And one would have to think, after reading Mossad's top-secret assessment on Iran's nuclear capabilities, um, if Prime Minister Netanyahu was willing to uh, fudge the truth before the entire world at the United Nations and its General Assembly, is he going to have any problems uh, characterizing things in a different light before a friendly audience in the U.S. Congress? Tell me about the spy cables, how we came about being able to see what Mossad was, was saying. Well, uh, in general, the cables came to us uh, through a digital leak. We don't discuss how we get our information, and that's one of the reasons that people continue to provide Al Jazeera with information. Um, unlike previous leaks that we've worked on together, Adrian, the Palestine Papers, this is the first time I've ever seen, and, and to my knowledge, other journalists have seen um, actual Mossad documents, let alone top secret. Um, that level of classification uh, is extremely limited in its distribution. Um, there's a, a variety of other intelligence services in this trove, more than um, a few dozen of intelligence services. Um, their correspondence was uh, piled into this digital leak, along with South African State Security Agency. It's the largest leak that South Africa has ever faced, and I imagine it's the first time a lot of foreign governments like the Russian FSB have ever had this kind of daylight. Now, I know, I know we're going to reveal the, the contents of, of these leaked documents over, over the coming hours and days here on, on Al Jazeera in partnership with The Guardian newspaper and AJ Plus, our, our digital platform. But just give us a taster of, of, of what else we can expect to be revealed by this, this remarkable uh, trove of, of papers. I think broadly speaking, um, the team that worked on us, we were shocked to find the extent to which Johannesburg has become the El Dorado of espionage. Um, it seems as if the continent of Africa is the new area, arena for the great game between uh, powerful countries trying it, to vie over... It, it, in what way? What, what do you mean? Well, they work ca spy and counter spy to subvert each other to scupper deals over natural resources, to boost the political standing of one group at the expense of others, to insist that the South African government surveil this Muslim uh, organization or that pro-Palestinian organization or this uh, NGO or that NGO. I mean, the, the whole rubric of war on terror has really warped the conversation between democracies. In public, they say we want rule of law, human rights, you know, freedom of press, but in private, under the table, they're asking for some very undemocratic things, and you'll see that in these operational cables. What, what about the repercussions of, of, of a leak like, like this? One thinks of, of what happened to, to Edward Snowden and, and when, when his material was leaked. What, what do we expect to happen after, after putting all of this stuff out there? Well, uh, suffice it to say that after Edward Snowden, one would have to be a fool uh, to go anywhere near revealing their name, lest they want to find themselves living uh, you know, in a flat in another country with the entire world wanting to arrest them. I can't blame the individual or individuals who would have done this, but suffice it to say, it's probably going to be an awkward day at the office at the South African State Security Agency. Okay, Clayton, we'll look forward to, uh, to seeing what else is going to be revealed uh, by uh, the, uh, the spy papers. Many thanks uh, indeed, the spy cables rather. Clayton Swisher, the director of Al Jazeera's investigative unit. We'll have more on this story in around 20 minutes. You can see the original Spy Cables articles and analysis on our exclusive website. You'll find it at aljazeera.com slash spycables. And you can follow the story on Twitter, too, with the hashtag spycables.